listen and learn. Learn and listen. The facts are fun. Are you sitting comfortably? Good. Then we shall begin. We're going to take a look at one that's out today, or I don't know, a day or two ago, called Graffiti by one of my favorites. And these are the folks at Video Wide. My buddy Bayou and Sam Arif over there. In fact, let's kind of jump over here and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Before we get into that, I will put a link to a sample video. I went in and I modified this template, and I'm going to show you how to do that in just a second. So I'm going to put this in the chat box. So it's a nice little template. I like it. Uh, I have a couple of freebies for you, and I will post those in this, uh, in this post in the Facebook group. Okay, so you can go ahead and check that out. Uh, if you want to like it, share it even better leave me a comment all right here's kind of how I roll with this what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna point out some of the stuff that these guys do at video wide that is a ah, nice technique you know it makes it easy to use and I'm gonna make it even easier with one more little embellishment so when you download just open up the template here and normally the first thing I'll do is go to file save as browse to a location on your hard disk and give it a different name you don't want to screw up your master right so when you unzip it what you're gonna end up with is kind of think of it as your master file okay so go in and save it as something else and then what I'm gonna do I'll go to the home tab I start to preview stuff so let me let this roll. Okay, so it's a nice animation. I will generally go through and just kind of look at some stuff. Let's play this. It's just lovely. You zoom in a little bit. I like it. So here's what I really like, is that these are, are easy to modify especially this particular template. So let's see how we might go about doing such a thing. The secret sauce to almost all of these templates is to go to the Home tab and over to Select and open up the Selection pane. You can also just click on anything on the slide and go to the Format tab and open up the Selection pane here. Here's a tip. If you use these kinds of templates a lot, right click on this guy and add it to your Quick Access Toolbar. The Quick Access Toolbar, or Quart as it is affectionately known, is all this stuff up here in PowerPoint. I kind of have customized mine to be, oh, a video editor's toolbar. So here I have the selection pane. So you can open it up in any of those methods. In fact, I think there's one other one. But anyway, here's the thing. The selection pane is all of the stuff that's on the slide in the various order of layers in which they appear. As you can see, there's a, a pretty hefty amount of crap here, right? So in this particular slide deck, if I preview it one more time, can see that there's a couple of things that we'd probably want to modify. First and foremost being the picture. And this is called the picture placeholder. And I'm going to note its position. It is on the bottom. It is the absolute bottom layer of this particular slide, which is going to make it really handy in a second. Because to change this, I'm going to hit delete. And when you hit delete on that picture, what you see here is that uh, this little thingy pops up here and what this is is a picture object and I'm going to show you the secret sauce and the beauty uh, that makes this all possible in just a little bit so to change my picture all I'm going to do is click here and then I'm going to navigate to some widescreen images that I have and you know, this one's kind of scary and fun let's insert this right 
what that did, however, was it kind of screwed up my slide. In fact, I'll preview it. And eh, a lot of the fun stuff that was going on before is now gone. That's because when you delete something and then re-add it, it goes in at the tippy top. Well, this picture is down at the bottom. So all you have to do to modify this is move that once you selected a different picture down to the bottom and now boom everything just works okay the reason this is nice is because these guys use something called slide layouts and I'm going to talk about that in a little more detail in a minute beyond that everything else is pretty darn simple so you can highlight and change text uh, if sometimes your your text kind of goes over right all you have to do is just kind of make stuff fit uh, so here if I wanted the font size to be the same I can just kind of click on the oval object here and you know make it work if I wanted all of this to appear lower I'm going to go ahead and hide all here. Let's turn our picture back on and then let's find all that text stuff by clicking the little eyeball and turning stuff back on. Okay, what you'll find? Uh, I need that oval. Where's my other oval? Rounded, maybe it's a rounded rectangle. Okay, so these are the text elements, the stuff I want to keep together as text. So all I'm going to do here is kind of click, hold my shift key, click that guy, hold my shift key, click this guy, and then I will generally use my arrow keys instead of trying to grab this and move it because it gets a little squirrely. So I'm going to use my arrow keys and kind of put it wherever it makes sense. Maybe up at the top for this one. Boop, boop. There we go. And then don't forget to show all. And let's preview. I like that there's a lot going on, but the design again makes it simple to modify. So all that being said, here's something that makes me crazy. Is that what you'll find in almost all of these templates. All these templates almost all of them they just move too darn fast and that's because everything is pre-timed in fact if we go to the animations and open up the animation pane you'll see that there is a a lot of stuff going on here <laughs> right lots of stuff happening all the time there's emphasis effects that do the Ken Burns thing things are flying in and flying out but here's kind of a trick so I'm going to kind of delete that and do this from scratch. What I want to have happen, for the most part, is after all this animation comes in, I want it to stay on screen for longer. <laughs> I want to slow that thing down because these will just whip through faster than you can even begin to read anything. And that's fine if you're making like a music video. But if you're wanting to actually add narration or something, which I would actually do in, in Camtasia, uh, but it's just going to move too darn fast when I export this as a video. So here's a little trick. I'm going to go to Insert. I'm going to insert a shape. Okay, and I'm just going to grab me a little rectangle. And what you want to do is you want to be off the slide. Okay, so here's the, the slide that's going to show up in the video. I'm going to go way up here somewhere and I'm just going to draw me a little box. Right? And in fact, I'm going to rename that box in my selection pane and I'm going to call it Timer. Boom. Okay? If I were to preview this, you would see that, well, you never see this because it's off slide. Now, the secret sauce to this is I'm also going to go to the animations and I'm just going to add a fade animation. 
What that's going to do is it's going to put this animation way down at the bottom. I'm going to set it to start after previous. And what you'll see there is that it puts it way down at the end here. Okay, way down at the end. And what I can do at that point is on the animation pane, I'm going to click on it. And you'll see this thing up here. It says duration. Let's say after my scary face comes in, I want this to stay on screen for like five seconds. All I have to do is change the duration here to five. And you see what it did? It, it kind of buffed this out. I never try to use this little, you can stretch it like this, but it, it's again really squirrely. So normally I'll click on it and change the duration up here. Okay, so let's change that back to 5. Now, if we preview, awesome animation, awesome animation, awesome animation, and there it is. It's still there. <laughs> It'll last. So that's just one little thing that you can do in this particular slide deck. It works well. In some of the other templates and stuff where there's all kinds of exit animations and stuff, this trick won't always work. But I just want you to be aware that uh, sometimes you might have to like move this around, you know, to to some place that makes a little more sense, and it gets a little squirrely. But this is a, a tip for this particular slide deck, and one of the reasons why I like these and I like this guy. Okay. So basically, all you do is you go through and you kind of follow that process for the rest of these. Let's open up the selection pane. Here are two pictures. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just, again, I usually start with the bottom, hit delete, click to add, put in a picture, move it to the bottom, and then this one is second from the bottom. So I can delete, click to add, add me another picture, and then don't forget, you got to move it to where it belongs. Second from the bottom. And everything's just going to work. Boom. Modify your text, all that good stuff and you're good to go pretty much for the rest of the slides. All right? Interesting, right? Sweet! If there's an easier way to get an awesome slideshow video than just deleting and swapping out pictures, uh, I'm not sure what it is. So almost all of the templates are pretty much like this. So that's sweet. All right. So here's kind of the really interesting part and why I like these. You might be asking, well, Lon, what is the magic that lets you just delete something and then re-add it? And you'll notice I didn't have to resize the pictures or anything like that. It just does it. In fact, let's go, oh, let's grab something that's not widescreen. And it automatically crops it and all of that good stuff. And it just fills the, fills the hole. Certainly, if I want to crop it, you can go to Format, Crop, and then Crop to Fill. You know, if I want to tweak it a little bit, either up or down usually it's a good way to go. But this is better than just trying to maybe right-click and change picture. That's going to cause you all kind of problems. And the magic that makes that happen is something called Slide Layouts. So let me go here, and just for demo purposes, I'm going to add me a new slide, right? And as you might know, if you right-click on a slide and go to Layout, you can normally add a bunch of lame and cheesy PowerPoint <laughs> layouts, text boxes with tons of bullets and ugh, all that good stuff. These are custom layouts. Okay, and that's what allows us to quickly and easily kind of just click these buttons and make stuff happen. So these templates have 
lots of these layouts. So I'll show you how to use them in just a second. But what I've done is I went in and I grabbed just a ton of them of the layouts. So if I go to a new slide here, and you can also you can right click and go to layouts or uh, once you have a slide selected you can go on the home tab to layout these are all of the layouts that I've collected from this GraphVidi Studio Pro collection so let's see what we can do with a couple of these things let's choose this one. Oh, it's got a little border around it and let's go to the animations. Well, that's probably a bad example. I want one with animations. No problem. Let's change it. So we'll go to the home tab, layout. Uh, let's grab this guy. Right? So it's a hexagon. And when I click to add picture, <laughs> let's go back to our, our pictures here. Let's use this one. Okay, and here's kind of an example of where I might want to fix it up a little bit. So under format I'm going to crop to fill. Let's scooch me over a little bit. There we go. Boom. But as part of the, the slide layout it also has pre-built animation. And if we just play this it's just a nice slow emphasis effect. And like I say, there are bunches of these. So this one, I do have a link for you because I did get this uploaded. So let me put this in the chat box for you and then I'm going to show you why something like this might be useful. If slides like this are daunting to you, okay, even one that's as easy to modify as this, then maybe what you might want to do is just kind of create something cool on your own. Layouts let you do such a thing. I'm not going to get into how these are created and stuff other than to say that if I go to view and then to something called the slide master you can create your own custom layouts. Okay, And again I'm not going to get into how to do these and stuff at this point. Just be aware that this is kind of where they live and if I did want to change some of these custom ones, or maybe I want to create a variation, you go into Slide Master, you find the one you want, I can duplicate this layout, and then I can make it do, oh, something else. Okay? And then this layout is going to act differently than, you know, my previous one. Close your Slide Master. I'll do a, a nice tutorial on how to really make these layouts and stuff sing. But, so here's the thing, if the, the complexity of a lot of the templates, you know, kind of hurt, uh, let's look at what we have here. Look at what I just created without doing any work. Uh, I have a nice shape, I have a nice little emphasis effect, and let's just start playing around a little bit. Let's format the background. So I right click format background and I'm just going to choose it like a color. Okay, so another thing I love these templates for, let's go steal something. <laughs> so here we have our other template open. I kind of like this oval dealy. So I'm going to click on it, copy, let's go back to our layout and paste it. And maybe put it here. And I could have grabbed the text box and stuff like that also. So that's something we can do. So I grab the animation and everything. Right, I like it. Uh, what else do we got? Let's go steal some more stuff. Uh, this one, let's go to the selection pane so we can see what's under all the layers and whatnot. Selection pane, boom. Oh, let's see. I'm going to hide all. Let's turn our picture back on so we don't just have a white background. And then let's start turning some stuff on. Let's see what that... Eh, I don't care about that. That's just a rectangle down here. 
You know, this is probably the same thing up top. What's this oval thing? Okay, so that, if I click on it, it's this thing right here. And it's really just like a little... Okay, so it's, it's a bunch of these little ovals that uh, they're real small, real subtle, and they just kind of pop. Okay, okay, let's turn another one on and another one on. So let's... Ah, see, I'm grabbing the background here. Uh, so for this one, I'm going to turn the background off and just select all those guys. Let's copy. Let's go back to our slide and let's paste it. And let's preview it. Pop, 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 pop. Right? So stealing stuff is just awesome. And of course, you can just at that point move whatever you want, wherever you want it, and just kind of have fun with it. But using layouts like this lets you do some really interesting stuff uh, without a lot of work. Combine that with stealing. <laughs> other assets and things like that and you start to be able to put together some really interesting stuff. So a lot of people kind of get hung up on well what am I going to use this template for? You know I'm not a farmer <laughs> uh, and a lot of them will be for an architect or you know local businesses. You can use them uh, for lots of different stuff if you learn how to do a little swiping. You know, little modification, little swiping. Uh, and of course, for templates like this, also don't think that you have to use every slide in the template. You can always right click and hide. Uh, you can just delete stuff after you, you know, save off your master copy. Um, so don't get too hung up in trying to force your message into a certain number of slides. Sometimes I just like this. Okay, well let's swipe just this. Right click on the slide, copy, let's go over to our presentation, right click, and in a case like this you're going to want for your paste option to keep source formatting usually right here. And you know I just added this to my custom deck. Lots of fun stuff. I do have some other tutorials on how to steal like these shapes and stuff and pull them into Camtasia. All right. So hopefully Mike that was, you know, a little bit of uh, some stuff for you.